안녕하세요. 우리나라 1호 영웅천문여학원 영웅영닷컴의 장인성입니다. 저는 지금 프레스턴에 와 있고요. 여기는 이제 여러분 잘 알고 계시는 유클란 대학교가 있어요. 그리고 유클란 대학교에는 의대가 있는데 온캠퍼스 유키노스라는 파운데이션 과정을 통해서 이 의대로 입학할 수가 있죠. 제가 오늘 아주 감사하게도 온캠퍼스 UK 허가를 받아가지고 의대 파운데이션 학생들 수업하는 걸 직접 참관을 하고 수업 내용을 영상으로 찍을 수 있는 허가를 받았어요. 제가 바이오로지 수업을 들을 건데 저 바이오로지 수업을 잘 찍어서 여러분들한테 수업이 어떻게 진행되는지 보여드릴 테니까 자 기대해 주십시오. Okay, so on your tables you should have a handout which looks like this on an A3 piece of paper. What I want you to do is just spend a couple of minutes on your own and I want you to try and see if you can name the microscope. So remember we did this yesterday, didn't we? We looked at microscopes yesterday and we're trying to see how much of that we can remember. So we're going to name the microscope by looking at the diagrams and then around the side you can see there's room for you to write. I want you to try and write as much as you can in the next two minutes, okay? As much as you can about each type of microscope. But you've not to look at your partner's work, you've got to do it yourself, okay? So it's individual work. So just really, what I wanted you to do, some of you would have wrote loads, and some of you would have sat there thinking, oh, I don't know this. Um, and you would have had information, more information on one structure than the others. You have now also on your table an envelope, which looks like this, okay? In the envelope, you have some diagrams, you have some statements, okay? And you have the same diagrams you've got on your worksheet and you have some labels, okay? In pairs, in twos, I want you to try and see, you can put your sheet away, but I want you to try and see if you can put the correct, lay, the statements, correct statements together with the correct pictures and put the correct uh, diagrams from the microscope with the correct microscope and also label the microscopes as well, okay? So you're going to do an activity, but now you're not going to do it on your own. You're going to do it with the partner sat next to you and you've got five minutes to do the activity and try and put as many of these statements in the right order, okay? You don't have to worry about this sheet for now. Okay, you just put that to a side and just do the card So Five minutes to do that, off you go. What about the light? Do you think it's going to be the light? You definitely know it's not going to be the light, so it's between those two. So look at the numbers and think about which one would give a better, clearer picture, a clearer image. Excellent, well done. Right, so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you what we looked at yesterday, okay? To see if now, together, if you actually put them in the right order. And don't worry, before you go away, I will give you the order it should be in so that you can take that away and make sure you can learn that. So, let's have a look at the comparison. So those are the statements that should go with each microscope. The light microscope, the transmission microscope, and the scanning microscope, okay? So you can work down that list and see if you've got the correct statements under the correct heading, okay? Yeah, you can change them by all means. And remember, if you're changing, what you need to do is you need to remember which ones you're changing, okay? Remember which ones you're changing. This group doesn't look as though they're changing anything. Oh, okay, we've got one we're changing. Did you change any? Yeah. How many? One. One. 
Okay, good. Did you change any? One. Did that table change any? Two. Okay. Two. Okay. So it looks like you were working together as a table. <laughs> okay. So you changed two. So at least you managed in pairs. You managed to get majority of that right, didn't you? Let's have a look at the actual. Um, let's have a look at the diagrams and see if you've got the diagrams correct. So you for the light microscope, this is the diagram we should have had. Have we got the correct diagram? Yes. For the transmission diagram, this is the diagram we would have had. Make sure you've got the correct diagram. Yes? Okay. And for the scanning microscope, <coughs> that's the diagram you should have had. Yes? Did we get all the diagrams in the right order? Yes. Excellent. Well done. Right. You've got... 30 seconds to have a look at that now. Look at that on your own, 30 seconds. Stop. Now, you're going to get a different colour pen, okay? Different colour pen to what you were using before. And you are going to go back to your sheet, this sheet. And you would... You are not again going to try and look at that. Okay, so try and face away or uh, so that you don't look at that. And then with a different colour pen, you are going to write more information on there to see if you can remember more from what you did the first time round. And hopefully by the end of it, you will have two colours. One will show you what you knew right at the start, and the second will show you what you knew after the activity and hopefully you will have more information with a different colour pen. Okay? Off you go. No, no, no. Different colour pen. Which one did you... Okay. I'm just thinking. Four. And you can carry on writing if you're writing <coughs> until I do my countdown. Three. Two. One. Thank you. So... Hopefully, you should have seen how you've progressed from the start to the end of the activity. I'd like to see a show of hands of people who think <coughs> that they've progressed. And what that means is, at the start, you wrote limited information, you did the activity, and at the end, you were able to write much more down and you felt you've learnt, you learnt throughout that activity. So please give me a show of hands if you feel you progressed through that activity. Okay, excellent. And that was, that, well, that was the objective. I wanted you to be able to, be able to identify these three uh, microscopes. Though we did the uh, theory of it yesterday, you can now appreciate that when you're in the lectures, you're not going to be able to soak everything in and you will have to go away and will have to do that study. And I'm sure some of you did go away and did look at those notes again, and that's why you were able to write some things down. But this activity hopefully has helped you with that further, okay? How, put your hand up if you feel that you can now identify the different types of microscopes and can now write some statements with the different type of microscopes. Okay, great, great. So I've also given you on your table, you can see I've left an A4 sheet of paper and I've given you what statements you should have had under each microscope. So you do have the answers there and you can uh, make sure that you can learn those in the correct order for future learning, okay? Well, if you can please put your statements back as you found them in the envelope with the paper clips, with the diagrams, I'd really appreciate that. Just to be absolutely sure, I can see some of you are reading that answer sheet. Just to finish this off properly, this task, what you can do is go back to your large sheet there and then look at the answer sheet and maybe tick off what you manage to put on in the end, tick off from here and then you will know which ones you didn't manage to put on with the time given, okay?
Okay, so again, that's fantastic, isn't it? Because now checking through, you've noticed something straight away. Yeah. You must know all of those statements for your exam. Okay, you must be able to identify all of those because you could be tested on any one of those statements. You could get a question where you have to do a comparison of the different types of microscope. We gave examples yesterday when we were doing the teaching of how, uh, what sort of exam questions you might get. One might be compare and contrast, which might hold up to five marks. So now when we do a compare and contrast question, for example, what sort of things might we do, Abdullah? If you get an exam question where you're going to compare and contrast, say, a light microscope with a transmission electron microscope, what sort of things would you write as your answer? How would you go about doing, answering that question? Go for the easier, the things that come to mind right away. Maybe you can compare the resolution on the magnification. Okay, good. So you could look at the resolution and magnification. We could compare those. We could compare the fact about the cost of it. What else could we do? The specimen spread the light. You could compare the specimen. You could talk about the specimen. If one's dead uh, for the light microscope, is it dead or alive? Alive. Alive, okay. And you could say the other one has to be dead. What other things could we say? The use of electrons. The use of electrons. Uh, you could say one uses the electrons and the other one uses light. light. So now, hopefully, you can, all you have to do is use those statements and write them down in the right order. And then you've compared and contrasted. And if it's about five marks, you want to have about five points, don't you? Okay. Now, tell me if you were an examiner and a student wrote an answer down to this question, compare and contrast, and they wrote down... Um, the electron microscope uses electrons. The specimen for the light microscope is alive. Would you give that a mark? No. no. Why wouldn't you give that a mark? Because you have to compare between the microscopes. Yes. You have to compare and contrast between the two. So to get the mark, what should you have done? And that goes to Jun. Okay, so with those two examples I gave, uh, one, we talked about the electrons and then the specimen, we said about the specimen. How would you make sure that that, uh, that student had the marks? What would that student have had to do? Uh, uh, Aziz said that you would have to compare and contrast the two. What does that mean? So, um, if you mention one's using electron, you need to mention that the other one is using electron. Excellent. If you've mentioned one uses electron, you can't then move on to another statement. You have to compare and contrast it. So you have to say the other one uses light. So one uses electrons, the other one uses light. If you said the specimen is alive for the light microscope, you have to say? The other one is dead. The other one is dead. Okay, do we understand? Okay. Thank you for that. And we will move on to the next task. So we've been doing about lots of, the, uh, lots of different uh, structures, cell structures. The next activity you're going to do is have a look at some of these statements. And on the statement, you have uh, a letter on the side. That letter tells you what the answer will begin with. Okay. Then you have the statement and you have to... The same is a clue, and you have to decide what that word will be. Okay? That is your next activity. You can put uh, this activity away. And again, try and do this yourself first. And then you can, we can mark it together. Newland University on campus, UK North's, Hoga High, Chicago, Ude Foundation, Chinan, and Sue, which in Puerto Rico, there. What does it say? 저는 영국에 있는 많은 교육 과정을 실제로 샘플 수업도 듣고 참여하고 우리 학생들의 피드백도 듣고 학교 관계자와 선생님들을 인터뷰를 하고 하는 사람의 입장으로서 이 과정이 진짜 좋았어요. 그 좋은 이유는 학생들이 그냥 단순하게 나열된 지식을 외우도록 이렇게 수업을 하는 것이 아니라 계속 실질적으로 수업에 참여하면서 이해를 할수 있고 그 사람들이 능동적으로 수업에 참여할 수 있도록 하는 거 그게 진짜 좋았거든요. 그래서 아까 선생님하고도 잠깐 얘기했는데 우리는 수업을 가르치는 것이 아니다. 
학생들이 공부할 수 있도록 이끄는 것이다 라고 말씀을 해주셨는데 그게 진짜 마음에 남고요 이제는 파운데이션 과정을 통해서 연구 의대를 갈수 있는 이제 좋은 루트가 생겼잖아요 그 중에 하나가 유클란 의대인 거고 유클란 의대의 입학 과정을 제공하는 온캠퍼스 유케 노스에서 우리 한국 학생들을 위해서 뭔가 다른 특별한 과정을 지금 만들고 있습니다 이거는 어, 학교의 공식 발표가 나면 제가 다시 전달을 해드리도록 할게요 저희 영명닷컴이 유클란 의대 한국 대표 사무소고 그리고 유클란 의대를 갈수 있는 온캠퍼스 유키 노스의 한국 공식 지원처니까 언제든 저희 쪽으로 문의 주시면 저희가 최선을 다해서 여러분들이 원하는 목표를 이룰 수 있도록 도움을 드리도록 하겠습니다 그리고 저희는 뭐 따로 수송료, 뭐 추가 대행 비용 뭐 이런 거 없으니까 부담 없이 언제든 저희 쪽으로 문의 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 그럼 저희가 또 다른 좋은 정보 많이 드리도록 할게요. 오늘 영상은 이것으로 마치도록 하겠습니다.